Oh, it's so much harder with you being here. Okay, so in this episode of Before and After, we are doing splits, and I am with someone, and she doesn't want to be in the video, but uh, basically her expectations are she's gonna expect some M. Night twist, and that is what's gonna go down, in a sense, because that's sort of the thing that blew up about the film. Everyone's like, oh, this is crazy twist, or what have you. Um, for myself, I was originally looking forward to just McAvoy's acting in terms of him being such a crazy, not crazy person, but just having so many roles. How is he going to pull it off? Is he going to be realistic? Or is he just going to fall short and just be a typical thriller, slasher, wannabe, but not really? But yeah, I look forward to that. So anyway, so this is before and this is after. So she enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was interesting. Um, though definitely I have read a book that dealt with this whole split personality thing and how they sort of portrayed it was very similar to the book but it's more of an intense sort of thriller whereas that book was more of a drama and sort of dealing with this thing but overall it was great performance from McAvoy and it was great to see um, the female lead being from Witch so it was great to see her again really wish that she gets more stuff going forward and also that Edge of Seventeen girl was also in it. I'm forgetting names, but M. Night, you did it. Now we're gonna work on sequels of things, so that's gonna be really exciting. And definitely did not expect this to be that. I mean, someone did tell me that it was connected, but they didn't really say why or how, so I sort of had a leg up, so that was kind of a bummer. But overall, it was interesting, and definitely, it's like, I'm more excited for this M. Night cinematic universe than, say, Marvel, ha ha ha. But anyway, um, definitely I don't understand why there's all this buzz about how it's a very confusing ending. It's not, it's very straightforward. I do not understand the internets. But anyway, so it was enjoyable and fun. And there's also that controversy about the whole split personality thing, and maybe some of you might are not gonna watch it because of that. But definitely it's not anything to do with specifically a movie demonize people with multiple personality disorders or whatever politically correct uh, label they have nowadays. I don't know. I'm not informed and that's sad. But anyway, so yeah, check it out. It's a great performance from McAvoy and M. Night has back, which is really surprising. When this movie was first trailered out, I was like, oh gosh, he's coming out with a movie. But with McAvoy playing this stuff, it might be good. It might be good and it's actually not bad. Anyway, so that was the before and after of Split Later.